welcome to the wedding of Rosemary and Brady. You are assembled here in the Roman Catholic Basilica Church of Our Lady of Victories, but the service is to be conducted in the Ukrainian Byzantine Rite, one of the other ways of celebrating in the Catholic Church. So you are in the right place, and it is a Catholic wedding, we're just doing things a little differently. It's such a hot day, I think you might be more comfortable if you sit. Um, so please be seated. The service is in two parts. We begin with what's called the betrothal. It consists essentially of the exchange of wedding rings. And that's done here. And then we move forward and do the crowning the uh, bride and groom. So we begin. Blessed be our God always, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Eternal God, you have brought together in unity those who are separated from each other, and you've established for them an unbreakable bond of love. You blessed Isaac and Rebecca and made them inheritors of your promise. Bless now these your servants, Rosemary and Brady, and instruct them in every good work. For you are a merciful God and love humankind, and to you we give the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Peace. Be with all. And with your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, from among the nations, you first betrothed to yourself the Church as a pure virgin. Bless now this betrothal. Unite and protect these your servants in peace and harmony. For to you belongs all glory, honour, and Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Now, if we can have the rings. The servant of God, Brady, is betrothed to the handmaid of God, Rosemary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The handmaid of God, Rosemary, is betrothed to the servant of God, Brady, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Do you, Brady, willingly and in good thought, take as your wife, Rosemary, who stands before you? I do. Have you committed yourself to another woman? I have not. Do you, Rosemary, willingly and in good thought, take as your husband, Brady, who stands before you? I do. Have you, have you committed yourself to another man? Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from our high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace to the world, the world needs to become solid churches, and for the unity of the world, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church, and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, for his holiness, our universal bond with Francis Pope of Rome, for his beatitude, our patriarchs, Gabbard's mother, for Archbishop Dennis Hart, and for our beloved Bishop Peter, for the Reverend Priesthood, the Diaconate, 
Christ and all the clergy of the people, let us pray for the Lord. For our nation and the God, for our government and for all the military, let us pray for the Lord. For the servants of God, Brady and Rosemary, who are today entering the married state, and for their salvation, let us pray for the Lord. That this marriage may be blessed as the one in Canaan and Galilee, let us pray for the Lord. That good judgment and moderation be granted to them, and the fruit of the womb for the well being of all, let us pray for the Lord. That they may be happy as they see their sons and daughters, let us pray for the Lord. That they may be blessed with children and lead a blameless life, let us pray for the Lord. That wherever they are at work, that whatever they and we may ask for our salvation may be granted, let us pray for the Lord. Lord that both they and we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray for the Lord. Lord Help and save, have mercy, and protect us of God by your grace. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious day, the Mother of God and the Lord of Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life for Christ our God. Amen. For all glory and the worship of the true Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever.
Grant that they may see their children's children. Preserve their married life from the plotting of the devil. Give them a share in the dew from heaven and in the abundance of the earth. Fill their house with wheat, wine, and oil, and with every kind of goodness, that they in their turn may share with the needy. Grant also to those who are with them today whatever they may pass, which will lead to their salvation. For you are a merciful and generous God who loves humankind. We give glory to you, together with your eternal Father, and your most holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. What God has joined together, let no man put aside. The servant of God, Brady, is crowned with the handmaid of God, the rosary, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You've put upon their hands the crown of precious stones. They ask life of you and you have given it to them. You can give them the blessings from the age to age. You have gladdened them with the joy of their hearts. Wisdom. A reading from the letter of the Lord to the Colossians. And I'll stay to you. Brethren, you are God's chosen race, his saints. He loves you and you should be clothed with sincere compassion, in kindness and humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with one another, forgive each other. The Lord has forgiven you, now you must make the same. Over all these clothes, to keep them together and complete them, put on love. May the peace of Christ frame in your hearts through his peace of people put together as God's love for you. Always be thankful that the message of Christ and all its riches by having with you. Teach each other, advise each other in all wisdom. The gratitude of the Christ in sons and hymns and inspires us to God. And never say unto you anything except in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give me thanks to God the Father for him. Hallelujah. You are the Lord, God has protected us now and ever. Hallelujah. 